Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a track stack in Logic to play multiple instruments at once on a keyboard. This is ideally suited for those of you in performance mode where you wanna layer up multiple instruments. This could be a piano sound, strings, synthesizers, bass sounds, any instrument you like, and you can play them all simultaneously on your keyboard. So you just need one keyboard to play multiple sounds. So ideal for performance mode, but also quite useful in composition mode where you're coming up with ideas and you wanna layer multiple sounds so you can hear what they sound like in unison. Although you don't need to have a keyboard to use a track stack, you can just use notation entered into Logic Pro in the software itself using the pen tool. The real benefit of creating a track stack, of course, is that you can go into a performance mode and play on a real life keyboard. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm using my Roland RD1000 and it's connected to my iMac via a MIDI interface and that allows me to trigger the notes. And that's what you're gonna be seeing in this demonstration. So let's go ahead and check out how to create a track stack in Logic. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a software instrument track. To do that, click on the plus button icon in the second column from the left here, or when you first open your project, you should get this window, which gives the option to select between your software instrument, audio, drummer, external MIDI, or a guitar and bass track. We're gonna select software instrument, and you can choose from any of the number of built-in instruments within Logic Pro. Let's start with a track from the Alchemy Synthesizer. And I'll just quickly play a chord on the keyboard so we can hear the sound. Okay, so we'll click on the instrument and we'll go in and select a pad sound. Let's start with the Celestial Voices pad and I'll play that C minor chord one more time. Listen to it this time. Okay, so that's our first sound. Now I'm going to go and add another software instrument. I'll click on the plus button icon. This time I'm going to select one of my instruments from the Korg WaveStation plugin. This is an additional plugin you can purchase from Korg. It's around 60 to $80 depending on where you purchase, but uh, this is a great software synthesizer from the 90s, which I always wanted as a kid, never got around to purchasing the synth. So now I get to play around with it in this digital form. So we'll select create, and we've now got our Korg synth. I like to add a synth icon, which doesn't always appear automatically. So I'll right click on the icon and select one of these keyboards. And now I'll click on the icon in the library window to bring up all the patches. The great thing about the WaveStation plugin is that you get not only the original sounds that shipped with the Korg WaveStation, but you get a whole bunch of ROM cards. I think there's about 15 all up. There's a huge amount of sounds that you can play around with. So let's just play through some of those until we find the next instrument I wanna to add to my synth stack. Okay, let's go for that one, Cascade Falls. And I do like to name my instruments as I go so I know what I'm dealing with. Let's add just one more instrument to our synth stack. And this time I'm going to use another instrument from Korg. I'm going to use the ARP Odyssey. <laughs> What that one sounds like. Just for a matter of interest to really add some variety to our synth stack, let's add this arpeggiated sequence that comes as part of this ARP Odyssey plugin. It's called Deceptively Simple. So I've now got my three instruments which I can play individually by clicking on each track and playing my chord. But now I wanna group them together so that I can play them all at once. So to do that, select on the shift key so that they're all highlighted 
And now we're going to go up to the track menu at the top and then click on the create track stack option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut shift command D to access this feature. You get two options. The first one is a folder stack and this is a basic track stack that lets you mute solo and control volume from the main track. What we're looking to achieve here is to be able to play all of our instruments at once. So we need to select the summing stack and in the description, it clearly tells you that it's a multi-purpose track stack that mixes its subtracks and can be saved as a patch. This type can also record and playback MIDI or remote control recording on audio only subtracks. Perfect, that's exactly what we're looking to achieve. By clicking this option, we're going to be able to play all of those instruments at once via our keyboard. To do that, click on create and you'll see that your instruments are now grouped into a single track. If I use the arrow on the left-hand side of the stack, it will hide them and condense them all into the one track so that when you're creating your compositions, you can create more visual space. And if I click on that arrow again, I can reveal all the instruments inside that track stack. The first thing I like to do is to name my stack. So I'm going to call this synth stack. So if I click on any of the tracks within the stack, I can hear them individually. But if I wanna play them all at once, click on the top layer, the main group, the synth stack itself, and you'll hear them all play simultaneously. Let's give that a go. Now, what if you decide to change one of those instruments within your stack? No problem. Click on any instrument and click on the icon on the left-hand side. Choose your new sound. and then click on the synth stack again. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one, bye for now.